Hey guys, this is Bill Allen with Evolve Lab, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a workflow on how to use AI for real estate and renovation. Now, this is actually a workflow that I stumbled upon using the AI tool Verus for my own house, and I thought it would be a pretty fun experiment to kind of show you guys my process and how I use the tool. Uh, I use it specifically to kind of start the ideation process for the exterior, different paint colors and palettes, as well as for the kitchen, as my kitchen was uh, built in 1987, and you'll get to see that here in the video. And just trying to think about like what other kind of cabinets and hardware and other things we could use uh, for the house. So with that, we're gonna jump right into it and I'll see you in the video. All right, so here we are on the Evolve Lab website and I've gone to evolvelab.io forward slash Verus. That's where we're gonna find the web version of Verus. Now Verus is also lives inside as an add-in to Revit, SketchUp, Rhino. You can use it with Autodesk Forma as well as Vectorworks. But we have this web version here if you wanna just use an image actually to start your process. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and launch in the web. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen this. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an image to my project. And I'll go ahead and grab this exterior image uh, of my house. Now, again, this is my actual house. And we're gonna be looking at uh, a renovation project, you know, just simple paint colors, things like that. Um, and I told my wife when we bought this house, it's not gonna stay orange and green. Let's see if there's, you know, some different color palettes we could use for it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, it also doesn't have air conditioning, but that's a completely different story. Uh, different video for a different day. So in here, um, what I'm gonna do to start us off is I'm gonna go to this edit mode. Now, what I can do is I can use the render selection feature in Verus. And what I wanna do is I wanna just outline the house. And the reason I'm doing this is because earlier when I was going through this experiment, um, you know, when we're running this AI rendering, it's not only doing my house, but it's also doing the neighbor's house over here next door. And I don't have money for that uh, to renovate their house. I'm just have money. I don't have money to do my own, but let's dream, right? So I'm not gonna renovate their house. I'm just gonna look at what it would take to do ours. And uh, what I'm gonna do is let's go, I'm also gonna look at just like uh, some different landscaping as well. And so I'm gonna window all of this area here, these trees and the house. All right, so there I have the, the whole selection here. And what I'm gonna do just to get us some really nice image quality, the prompt I'm gonna use is award winning rendering of modern house with let's try a uh, white paint and black trim. We're gonna say black roof, uh, large glass windows. That's what we have here in the front. Let's say beautiful landscaping. And if you have like, you know, more specific kind of like planting and things like that, uh, you can do use those kinds of um, words for your prompt. I'm gonna turn on Turbo Nature. This is gonna give it more vegetation. Atmospheric is gonna kind of give it this cool foggy kind of feel. Um, let's go ahead and just render, see what we get here with some of these. Uh, the other thing to note is I have my material override all the way up because I wanted to override any kind of finishes that are on the exterior here. But my geometry override is all the way low because we're not popping the top or changing any of the geometry in uh, this exercise or this renovation. Maybe we can uh, look at some experiments like that uh, if we have time. But let's go ahead and kick this off. I'm gonna do uh, four different options. Uh, the render from same seed, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, if you turn this on, you'll get kind of like this mode. Uh, when the render seed is off, what it's gonna do is it's gonna um, implement randomness into our images and that's what we want. We wanna get a lot of different design options and ideas. So I'm gonna turn it off uh, for this example. All right, we got our first image back. Here's um, the first one. Uh, pretty cool, a lot better than the orange and green that we had before. And you can see the rest of the image is, is untouched. It's just uh, influencing the selection that I have. We also got some really nice landscaping. Here's another option. Uh, it looks like it's put on this really nice uh, railing on the front here. Maybe we can see if we have money in the budget for that. Okay, got another option here. 
and another one. All right, so here we got, you can see um, this rendering took about 59 seconds. It is peak time. So these are taking just a little bit longer, but about uh, less than every minute, you know, I have a different design option. So here's four different design options. Um, just to show you guys again, uh, what the original house looked like. This is what it, it looks like. And then this is what the AI engine Varus is um, proposing here for our, our front elevation. So some pretty cool uh, options. Uh, I'm really also kind of like kind of like a, uh, a wood siding kind of look. So I'm just going to see what some of those options look like as well. So I'm going to replace the wor uh, word words, white paint with wood siding. And let's just see what we get. All right, we're getting some of our images coming back now. Some pretty cool options. So we have uh, this nice vertical wood siding, also some black siding. Um, it's doing a pretty good job with kind of that ideation process. You can see for the most part, it is retaining that geometry, keeping the windows where they're at um, and really just overriding some of the, uh, the different materials. It is having a little bit more creative freedom over here. Uh, with that, let's maybe crank up the geometry override. And let's just say like if we wanted to really, if we had an endless budget, which I do not, uh, let's just see what Varus might start to do with uh, the geometry override. Okay, so uh, we got some of our images back, some more practical than others. Um, I was kind of inspired by one of the images that I, I got back where there was some planting up on the roof. Uh, and so then in the prompt here, I added uh, the prompt roof garden and I got some of these results back. This is maybe my, my favorite. Um, pretty interesting results. You can see that the geometry override was pretty darn high on these ones. I got it up to 90. So it is diverging quite a bit from the original design here. It's taking quite a bit of creative freedom. So you can see how much it's updating or overriding our, our original image where some of the other images really kind of hung true to the original geometry. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about some of these different op design options. Let me know in the comments, any kind of prompts you'd like to see in the future. Uh, this is a good uh, example though, I think for the exterior, let's swing around over to the interior and see what we can do. All right, so here we are on the interior and you can see this lovely 1987 kitchen with the wood grain and the outdated hardware. Um, it's a nice kitchen, you know, with the updated uh, appliances, those are great, um, but the kitchen is just itself a little bit outdated. Um, so I'm going to try, you know, some different prompts here. First off to note that I've, I've checked it so it's interior. And let's just try uh, an award winning image of modern kitchen uh, with industrial. I really like the industrial side, so I'm going to say industrial countertops. Let's say subway tile um, and flat panel cabinets. Let's put in there uh, modern kitchen. Oh, we already have modern kitchen, so that's redundant. We don't need that. Um, let's just try this. Let's see what we get. Okay, actually pretty cool. Look at this. Um, we have some pretty interesting uh, cabinets updates. Uh, these are pretty cool. Some nice hardware. Some of the hardware is a little out of place, um, but some of it, it did a decent job. I've also been looking at um, some flat panel. Uh, so that's nice that it included that. Uh, we got some of the subway tile, uh, both on the uh, backsplash as well as on the floor. Um, let's try a few more options. I'm gonna say uh, white cabinets with black hardware. Hardware. And I'm gonna override the geometry just a tad and let's just see if we can get um, some more accurate. What this is gonna do is it's gonna really apply the geometry override to the image. Um, so I'm really gonna try to get more of the prompt in here to come uh, across in the image by up upping that geometry override. All right, so we got some of our images back here. I did put in the prompt uh, white flat panel cabinets. Uh, I also said modern kitchen with white cabinets, just to really try to get some more of, of that color palette in here. 
and you can see uh, some of the results that came back, some more practical than others. Uh, it seems it struggles a little bit with the hardware placement, but you can kind of get an overall feeling of the color scheme for the image, uh, much better than you know what was here before. You can kind of see the, the difference. So at the very least, it gives you some options for um, the coloring of your cabinets and what that might look like. Uh, let's try a bathroom and see what we get. All right, so here's the bathroom. Let's try uh, a bathroom prompt. We'll say uh, modern bathroom. Let's say modern uh, tile finishes. Let's say uh, soft candlelight. Um, and yeah, let's just try that. Let's see what we get. All right, so we got some of our renderings back. Let's see what we have here for the bathroom. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is really freaking cool. Okay, check it out. About every 15 seconds, we got a new image, a new design option. So in under a minute, we got four different options. These are really amazing. Um, I have to run these by my wife and see if I can get her to buy off on some of these design options. So there you have it. That's how we're using Veris for uh, our own personal uh, house projects. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Uh, I'll show you guys again just quickly as a reminder, uh, you can go to the Veris uh, website, evolvelab.io forward slash Veris. Uh, you can launch it in the web and try out this workflow for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have enjoyed making it. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe button, share it with someone you like, and uh, we will catch you on the next video. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.